Hey guys, what's up? Got some stuff to show off. Uh, I've been waiting for these to come in the mail for the longest time. This is for my stereo. I got it running through my uh, ceiling and everything like that. Got like this port thingy there for the back of my computer. And I got like a uh, 25 foot um, red white. Well, actually, I guess the yellow too. But I'm um, just using the red white. And that's running to my stereo, which I'll show that off at the end of this video here. And inside the ceiling, I needed this little piece to connect to the red white and that to the, um, you know, 3.5 audio uh, female input. So I got this off of eBay. The only place I could have got it because everywhere else is the 3.5 to um, 3.5 male to uh, um, RCA male. There's no 3.5 male to RCA female anywhere. Walmart doesn't sell it, and well, Radio Shack probably does, but I don't have a Radio Shack in my area. I also got these little um, butt connector thingies. Turns out I don't need it after all. I changed my stereo set around, so um, I was actually want to use it for my uh, turntable, you know. But um. I changed my stereo set around, made it more involved with my uh, TV. Looks actually pretty sweet. You guys are gonna like watching that. But um, I needed a longer cable to hook my turntable up to my uh, receiver. But um, yeah, I completely did away with that idea. So now these are like I don't need them, but I'll probably find a use for them sometime. Because I actually do use um, Component a lot, or Composite. Both those names confuse me, RCA. Because they're like so close, you know. Component, Composite, whatever. HDMI. <laughs> I know what HDMI is. Let's get, I, let's get into the tapes. This is like a span of month, I think. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna do all that together. Let's go with the most recent thing that I got yesterday. Yeah. That I got the uh, a Three Stooges box set, um, comedy classics. Actually, three tapes, but my son likes running off of stuff, so um, he only got two tapes in there right now. But I bought three tapes of this. Just gotta find the third one in the house somewhere. Um, tape 1, Disorder in the Core and the Bradless Groom. Tape 2, Malicious in the Palace and Sing a Song of Six Pants. Tape 3, Knife of the Party and the Three Stooges and Ed Wayne. That last one's really good and then the, the first tape's really good too. Which, um... Tape 3 that's missing. I got the uh, Keanu Reeves, um, Babe in, Babes in Toyland. I think this is the one that I was looking for. Recently owned by um, uh, Batharon, something like that. Add that to my Keanu Reeves collection. Which I gotta gather all those tapes together. I, I had to grab all my good tapes because Eli's getting to the age where he's getting into stuff, you know. So I didn't want any of my good tapes destroyed. So I took all my good tapes and then brought them upstairs. Here, let me show you. Right there. Yep. So let's get this focus back up again. Sorry about that, I'm just like basically freestyling with this here and I thought you guys would like seeing that there that that's everything except for um you know Disney stuff and uh pointless stuff I don't like I could probably do a video of those but that's a lot that'd be like a five parter huh. and also from uh all well, the Babes in Toyland three stages were from uh, Treasure 2 
I also got American Graffiti on tape. Really like the soundtrack. Can't wait to pop that in. It's actually rewound too. That's cool. I could pop that in right now, but I want to put this up on my main channel. So, um, yeah. And also from Treasures 2, I got, um, Rancid. Um, Let the Dominoes Fall. Got the CD in my computer right now. I was listening to it. So, um, pretty neat punk, punk stuff, you know? And I'm kind of new to punk. And, you know, I've listened to, um, no effects and um, I nice posted there to um, put up on my wall. Green Day is kind of punk too, punkish. I don't know. Maybe frame that and hang it up. I don't know. That would be cool to actually put up in the in the Dave Cave. You know, not this Dave Cave, but the new Dave Cave, which I started planning on that. There, I've put together some lists of stuff that I want to get in there, you know, and kind of started putting figures together, measurements of, uh, of, uh, the shed and everything like that to see how much it'll cost to actually fix up. So, um, it's not cheap, but it's gonna, um, be beautiful when it's done. Move my coffee all the way for you guys. I got also, um, Project Snowblind. I love this game. Got it a long time ago, and it was on my top favorite list. And my uh, ex made me get rid of it. She didn't like me playing video games. This is fairly good. It's actually complete, too. I got this from Goodwill. There's the manual. Um, oh, here's something I picked up a long time ago that I've never shown, so I figured I'd just pull it off the desk and show you guys, which is actually a double two, Ernest Saves Christmas. I believe it's a double. Um, yeah, here we go. This is like a tape of a pickup. Ray Stevens, turn on your radio. I got this one on vinyl. It's got um, American Lo or uh, Indian Love Call on there, I believe. I don't know. No, it doesn't. That's another one. Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion 2. Happy to have another Guns N' Roses. I actually found another... Um, Appetite for Destruction, but it was in the same condition as the one I own, so it's just like, uh, I'll pass. And Bing Cosby, Frank Sinatra, and Nate Cole, or, yeah, no, Nate King Cole Christmas album. Um, I was, I've been wanting to get a Bing Cosby one with, um, a what is it, um, Santa Claus Coming in Town, I think it is. That's an amazing song. Which I'm not sure. I haven't given this one a listen to yet. But what I uh, I probably won't listen to it till December or something like that. So um, that would be cool too um, here. And uh, the Bing Cosby Santa Claus is coming to town. I think that one was actually played on um, A Christmas Story if I remember right. I'm not sure. Also got um, Bon Jovi Slippery When Wet. Case is cracked but um Tapes are easy to come by, so I'll find a uh, replacement for it. It's a great tape. Oops. That's probably why it's cracked. Cool. So when I was at Treasures 2, I was, um, you know, adding together all the change I got. Where'd that tape go? And turns out I was a dollar short, and I was going to go put back the uh, Three Stooges tape, you know, movie. And there was a older lady ahead of me, and she's like, do you have enough money for your books? I was like, I'm a dollar short, I'm going to put this back. I didn't even know the gal, you know, sweet old lady. 
to like here here's a dollar go ahead and um get your stuff she didn't even know me either so it's like oh thank you thank you very much it's like yeah no problem and she started pulling out change of her pocket and she's like here i got 65 cents or whatever it much is that that might help out too and oh here's a tootsie roll I end up throwing the Tootsie Roll away because, you know, that's kind of weird in today's stage. But um, still, you know, a dollar sixty-five, whatever. Um, that was pretty cool. So there's good people out there. But you got to be weary sometimes, too. Okay, more stuff from uh, Goodwill. This is cool. Ray Stevens, a comedy video cassette. It's got to help me make it through the night. It's me again, Margaret. That's an awesome song. Santa Claus is watching you, sitting up with the dead, surfing USSR, Mississippi Squirrel Revival. That's a cool song. I think these are just music videos. The streak and everything is beautiful. But these are music videos and that is cool. And um, it's me again, Margaret. That music video is really cool. So I'll be happy to um, pop that in and give it a watch. And, oh, not sure why I got this one. Probably because I've been in Westerns a lot lately. Um, the Man from Snowy River. And I think I heard about this movie as well, so it's just like, I have to at least give it a watch. Plus it's a Grey CBS Fox release. So that's going right in the collection. Too bad there's a 53 item in the corner. Can't get that out. Recently owned by Boston. There's that. Oh, what else? What else? Surprisingly, no vinyl this time. Oh well. I saw some vinyl. I saw um, some Who. It wasn't the one of Who Are You, but it was like um, Who something. I don't know. But um. I wanted to get that, but I didn't have no money on me, and I was up in Bowley for my class, and I always do this, like I go to stop the Goodwill before my class and um, see if there's any records or tapes or anything I want, and half the time I have a dollar on me, half the time I don't, and half the time I get stuff, and half the time I don't, and that was one of the half of the times I don't, didn't get nothing, and regretted it. I tried to save a dollar each week just to be able to do that, but I didn't have a dollar that week, so whatever. Um, got Dragon Ball Z. I actually got this from the pawn shop that um, always carries Dragon Ball tapes, surprisingly. Um, this is, uh, excuse me if I'm wrong, because I'm just like getting into Dragon Ball and stuff like that, but thing, uh, uh, 10 Sherman, Terminate Day Uncut. I'm getting a lot of Dragon Ball tapes. Um, Commander Red, um, Krenn's Tower Uncut. Let me move that light down a bit more. There, is that better? Yeah, it's a little bit better. I'll show you the first one again. There you go. Sorry about the darkness before. I try to have it more on my face and stuff like that, but if I'm showing you stuff, then it's going to need to be like right there. Dragon Ball. How are we doing on time? Good. General Blue, Lassen, Tengen, Village, Uncut. Because usually my camera flips over after 20 minutes. I don't know why it does that. I'm just going to have to get an HD webcam and put a cam or a computer up in my cave. I don't know if there's any cameras that have no time limit or whatever like that, but for some reason my camera has like a 20 minute time limit and that flips over, stops and starts recording it. I don't know why it does that. Okay, next tape, Red Ribbon Army, The Hunt is on, uncut. Red Ribbon Army, um, silver, uncut. Silver, sl sl sliver. 
I think I might have the Red Ribbon Army complete now. Red Ribbon Army Assault on Muscle Power Uncut. And uh, Fortune Tower, Baba, um, Yamicha's Fall Uncut. And that's not it. I still have more. Um, Terminant. Um, fighters begin. This is uh, Krillin versus Bacterian. That's one of my favorite episodes. Commander Red. Dragon or Danger from For Hire. Uncut. Terminant, or tor terminant, tor terminant, yeah, I can't speak, sorry. The final test, uncut, terminant, ter torminant, terminant. Uh, Dragon Ball GT, affliction. I don't have very many GT tapes. Always happy to find them. And GT Anamorph Anamorphation, something like that. So, oh yeah, one last thing, which my la wife actually got this for me. Um, kind of hesitant because it's kind of used against me in times too. G, um, well, I just gotta show you. Um, Samsung Galaxy Four, I guess. Yeah, you can see my screensaver. Love it. But, um, she ended up giving me her old droid razor. She's like, here, here's your new phone. And I was, when she was originally showing me the phone, she's like, you can choose which one that you want. So then I was, uh, you know, reaching for this one. But then she kind of pulled it back, you know, and then handed me her old phone. I was just like, Okay. The only problem I got with that is like after like a week of actually using her phone, putting stuff on there that I wanted, some cool game apps and stuff like that and like ringtones and text tones and stuff like that. And then she's like, oh, well, you can have this phone now. I'm done using it. Okay, you know. And it's just like basically starting all over again, like uh, I have to redo my wallpaper, which she was uh, nice enough to put that wallpaper on there for me. Uh, but I still have to put all the apps on there, all the games, so it's just like a hassle. And then all the people that she was texting from this one, they're texting me now because it's the same number and everything like that. It's just like, oh. Which I wonder if there's a way to um, take out the Sims card and just swap them. I don't know, but there's a memory for it. And then again, she has all my songs on their phone, her phone too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's a Sims card there, so I could probably just swap it out. But whatever. Whatever. And she got that for free. And then she's talking about after Christmas upgrading everyone in the family to, you know, better phones. I'm just, you know, I don't care. This is a smartphone. I'm fine with it. Sure, it would be nice to have, like, the 20-inch the screen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But they, ha they do have cell phones that have, like, big screens. But I only really use the phone for, um, you know text messaging really and like phone calls and game apps that's about it I don't really care about how big the screen is or like surfing the web I'll use the Shazam app to see what songs playing on the radio and then that will put like post on my Facebook and stuff like that so that's like pretty cool but I really care oh yeah like um also like using this as a spy camera in a sense I guess for like 
garage sales and stuff. Um, spike cam, but it's kind of inconvenient using because I'm not a smoker. If I was a smoker, then I could just put the lighter spike cam up on top of a pack of cigarettes and, you know, easy peasy lemon squeezy, you know. But I don't smoke, and if I was using that to videotape and then someone's like, hey, you got a light, and then I'd be like, oh, sorry, this one's broken or something like that. And it's just like, eh, a hassle. So I wanted to find a better way of actually getting in the field footage. And cell phones are nice for that because you can just hold it like that. And I got big hands to where, like, you can barely see the screen, but I can still videotape, you know, videotape, like, whatever's in a box or something like that. I still want to get spy glasses, but all the ones I've seen are like from twenty to fifty dollars up. So it's just like eh, I don't have that kind of money right now. Looks like the camera just flipped over, so I'm gonna have to patch this with uh, YouTube's video editor. So um, I wonder where it cut me off at. Oh well. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep it heavy. Keep the guide. I'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Here is the footage of my new entertainment center. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright, here it is. Um, I'm sorry, I have to take this from my phone camera. Um, I don't have my other camera accessible to me right now. And yeah, poor lighting, so I'm trying to, I'll try to make do with what I got here. But, um, over here is a stereo. Got a whole bunch of, you know, there's the uh, AM FM up top, the synchronizer below that, um, the amplifier below that, uh, CD player, tape deck, and then down below is the receiver. I haven't been able to get any of that other stuff to work, but the receiver works fine. So that's all that really matters. Uh, when I fill up to it I'll like get that other stuff working but right now it's just like eh there's my PS2 laser disc player down there HD DVD player my VCR Logitech review right there my Xbox 360 and my buddy's Xbox 360 along with the connect right there there's the Comcast X1 box Blu-ray player underneath that H or uh, not HD, but a uh, um, DVD recorder right there. There's my Betamax player, Atari 2600, and oh yeah, Super Nintendo. Sorry, I forgot that. Here is my Vizio. I forget what model it is. I can check here in a second. That's uh, E470VLE. Like you guys can even see it. Actually, kind of can. So there's that. I'm not going to give you model numbers for any of my uh, stereo stuff. The bottom receiver is a Pioneer. That's about it. And all the other stuff is... Um, oh, I can't even see brand names. Fisher? But that's what's going on. I want to get another cabinet, stereo cabinet, to go along right next to this one here. Sorry for the lamp and the video shot there to have a whole bunch of other stuff like um, CED player uh, I want to get a region free VCR and Blu-ray I'm gonna forget about a region free uh, DVD player because you know region free Blu-ray would do like both DVD and you know Blu-ray got my Betamax right there there's a uh, video 8 machine that I, or Video 8 VCR that I'd like to get. Um, I want to get one of the uh, Elite Laser Discs. That would be cool. Along with um, a bunch more video game consoles. Um, then there's uh, a diff couple different VCRs like a uh, high definition VCR. Um, I want to get one of the original Pioneer DVD players. That came out late 90s. And there's a uh, Blu ray HD DVD combo one that I'd like to get as well. 
and just for the heck of it I'd like to get a VCR DVD combo um, and oh yeah the next gen stuff that's coming out I'd need to get some of those eventually but that's my setup right now and let's go over here I'll turn on my uh, uh, YouTube stuff off my computer let's just go off of this right here so as you can see it's playing right here right there that's got one right there and let's go over here yep this bar right here running all the way right there that's a RCA cable going all the way through my ceiling right there and that goes down right there and into a device that you can't even see but I'll try to pull it out so you can see it as I pull this out right here let me unplug everything that piece right there and everything's all connected to it so that's what I got going on right now that's my stereo set I'm definitely happy that I can um, do my um, music off my computer right up on top of my uh, stereo set over there that's freaking cool sure I need some a uh, little bit more improvement on it I'd like to get a smart TV but what's going on right now is really cool another idea I have is you know there's a the splitter I showed you earlier in this video I want to get another splitter run that right there off the other splitter and have two computer speakers going up there just like those ones you know cheap computer speakers that I can get off of um, Goodwill and I found a hundred foot audio cable on eBay for like ten bucks and I have more speakers coming here and have one right there on the little stand thing and another right there so essentially you have music going all through the house just from the computer you know so that would be pretty sweet so that's my plan and I hope to be able to accomplish that thanks for watching everyone I'll catch you all later